Hello everyone and welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Today I want to talk about a piece of functionality from the sales app in Dynamics 365. More specifically, I want to talk about leads. And the idea is that when you enter leads into the system, they're meant to be temporary records that you essentially call in to qualify whether you want to move them from a lead or a prospect, if you will, into an opportunity stage. So let's say we start with Darren right here. So we, if you look at the lead entity or the lead record right here, this is out of the box sample data. Notice that we have the information, Darren Star in this case, the topic, he likes our products. We don't really know which product we don't, you know, it's vague. So we want to talk to Darren to make sure that, you know, what he's looking for is something we can sell. But the idea is you get to a point where you talk to Darren and you said, okay, we, we for sure we need to move forward. So then what do you do? You click on the qualify button. So when you click on qualify behind the scenes, Dynamics 365 automatically generates an opportunity. It places that opportunity under the develop stage. So it went from the qualification stage, which you did on the lead entity into the develop stage. It all also created a contact record and an account record that you know, based, it was based on all that information that was available on the lead record at a time. And there's other things that happen. So for example, if you collected uh, competitors, if you collected, you know, some other information that you have at the lead level, uh, it will also be transfer into the opportunity and also any phone calls or appointments or things like that. They will also be transfer into the timeline for the opportunity as well. Now, Dynamics didn't always work like this. The sales application didn't work like this. Up to, up until CRM 2011, users actually had the ability to pick what needed to be created. It didn't work automatically. It didn't automatically put you on an opportunity and an account and a contact and all that stuff that happens today. Now, people forgot about it. People uh, kind of get used to the concept, but you work sometimes in projects where that is not the desired outcome. You don't want to just qualify a lead and automatically create an opportunity. There are cases where we qualify a lead to pursue later, for example. We don't want to create an opportunity right now. Or perhaps you want to create an opportunity, but not necessarily generate an account and a contact and all that information, right? So what do you do? Out of the box in the qualify stage, you notice that there's a couple of fields in here where you know they're asking us if this is an existing contact or an existing account. In this example with George Williams, you notice that uh, there's actually an existing account that George already works for. The idea is that by us selecting an existing contact or an existing account, when we qualify this lead, it will not create those records. It will create the other ones. So in this case, because we have an existing account, it will actually create a contact for George and it will actually create create an opportunity as well. But like I said, not every project and every solution and every company wants that behavior. Not everyone wants to automatically generate an opportunity, especially uh, when you qualify a lead. Sometimes we just really just want to qualify a lead. So what do you do to prevent this from happening? Well, there's a bunch of different workarounds, but there's actually a feature in Dynamics 365 that allows us to prevent this from happening. It allows us to ask the user what the user wants to do rather than forcing something on the salesperson or the person qualifying the lead. And that is the topic of today's tip. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So in this case, I'm going to navigate into settings administration and go into the system settings. Now within system settings, I'm going to navigate into the sales tab. And if you remember from the tip last week, if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. There are some settings right here below here that are not available because you don't have a scroll bar to go down there. But like I mentioned, I like to click on it and hit the down arrow to kind of uncover those options. And if you keep on going, there is one option coming up that is called Qualify Lead Experience. And by default, notice that it will create an account, a contact, and an opportunity you know, automatically, but I don't want that. So I want to say no in here and that is it. So I'm going to say no, I'm going to click OK. And, you know, behind the scenes, my dynamics will make an adjustment and will actually start asking users what they want to do. So once again, the users will come here and we'll click on a lead. Let's click on a Braille in this time. Why not? And we're going we're gonna to click on qualify and notice and now we get a pop up. We get a pop up that says, what do you want to do? Do you want to convert this lead and create the following records and account 
contact them an opportunity and you get to pick look click yes no whatever you want it's on the user's hand to decide what needs to be done so maybe i don't want to create an opportunity but i do want to create an account and a contact why not i hope you enjoyed the tip this week and we'll see you next week